what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in this video i'm going to talk briefly or share my quick theory on how sydney prescott can actually finally become ghostface as you saw at the beginning of the video this would all be picking up at the end or be picking up from screen four let's say screen four had ended just like that as you saw at the beginning jill roberts getting carted out of the house getting carted out of kirby's house loaded into the back of the ambulance with all this press in her face and then the movie fades to black and then we get the credits and then we're just left out in the open to not know what's going to happen going forward we don't know if sydney's actually dead we don't know a lot of things that are going to happen because all we know is that jill roberts survived and she seemingly has gotten away with it now a lot of people are against the idea of sydney becoming the killer sydney becoming ghostface sydney donning that costume and going around slashing up her friends and her loved ones and i honestly can say that if it happens i wouldn't necessarily be against the idea but at the same time you have to what i'm about to say is literally the, the only way you could do it that would not diminish anything that has been established about this character and this is the only way that would i believe would effectively honor the legacy of Wes craven and it would be the only only route to take that doesn't like kind of just diminish everything that she's been through because for her to finally just snap like that i would take that narrative but at the same time it is going to diminish a lot of the th a lot of the stuff that we've come to know and love about this character because she's been through so much and she wrote this novel called out of darkness only for her to then now dwell into that darkness that she just wrote a book saying she got out of um i can see why a lot of people would be against that but jump jumping right on into things this would be set many years later after the fourth frame after the fourth film uh jill roberts is in college sydney prescott did in fact survive the attacks at the end of screen four Kirby Reed is alive in this idea of mine and Hayden Pantier is back, Emma Roberts is back. This is basically the Scream 5 I hope we could have gotten had Kevin Williamson's ideas for 5 and 6 had gotten to come to fruition. Essentially in the film, this is what's going to happen. Jill Roberts got away with the events of Scream 4. She framed Charlie and Trevor um, and nobody knows it was her. Except Sydney because Sydney has spent the last several years um with a bit of amnesia she doesn't remember too much of the events from screen four and she is now going to start understanding and remembering what's going on and she remembers uh what's what's happening is now the events of screen four has led to the stab franchise rebooting itself and ignoring all of those all of those sequels that have nothing to do with the trilogy because remember in scream 4 at the beginning the actual opening one of the girls i believe it was marnie or i don't i don't think it was marnie i can't remember her name one of the blonde girls she says that after the original trilogy sydney press got threatened to sue the studio so they stopped using her story and they started making things up and now that they have a new story to use they'll just retcon stabs four through eight i think they're up to now they'll retcon those and they'll have like a direct sequel to the original trilogy now since sydney prescott's life has been brought into turmoil again and they have a new narrative to tell with sydney prescott jill roberts is going to be starring in the film as herself jill roberts uh and the the film is the production on the movie is actually occurring in woodsboro let's say the production of the film is occurring in woodsboro during production now it's very similar to scream 3 during production though uh members of the crew and the staff and the whole production start dying one by one and jill herself now is getting stalked by a ghost face we have a former ghost face being stalked by yet another ghost face now keep in mind this is all going back all going to be brought up all this whole entire reveal will be brought back around to Sydney prescott with her amnesia from the past couple of years because now she is now with the production of staff four beginning and her amnesia now wearing off she starts to remember what jill actually did i'm gonna get back to that in a, in a minute so as everyone's dying and as all these bodies are dropping jill's getting taunted by ghostface she's getting all the stereotypical phone calls the cliche calls that we know from ghostface that you would get what's your favorite scary movie oh i'm gonna gut you like a fish she's getting taunted by ghostface who's threatening to expose what she did unless they uh they're just basically threatening to expose her um for what she did all those years ago 
and they're going to ruin all this fame that she has acclaimed by going after and ruining the production of Staff 4 to make to make her uh, suffer and understand that what she did all those years ago was wrong and she's not going to get away with it. They they know that she was the one responsible for the Woodsboro massacres all those years ago, not Charlie and Trevor, and they're out to expose her and take all this fame away from her. In the end of the film, as we're finding out all these people are dying, uh, as we're finding out that Jill is, again, our she's our protagonist but she is the first protagonist to also be a former ghost face killer who is the first person to have gotten away with it until this new ghost face came up because they found out her secret and they're going to expose her and take away and diminish all that fame she's now so worked so hard to get from those killings she did many years ago someone knows her secret and they're going to reveal it basically by the end of the movie what ends up happening is it's going to be revealed that Sydney Prescott is Ghostface. She is the one taunting Jill Roberts and she is not only Ghostface, here's the twist. Remember in Scream, the original Scream 3 script, apparently at the original end, they wanted Sydney Prescott to arrive um, at a location and a bunch of the people who had died or we had thought had died were going to like rise up from the dead and it was going to be real that no, nobody actually died and they were all like crazy stab fans we you know we had Stu mocker back i'm going to take elements of that and throw it into this at the very end of scream five when sydney exposes herself reveals herself to be the killer to jill that's when a lot of other people would then join behind sydney all these people that we thought have died throughout the film they did not die not a single one of them died this has been a giant ruse that not only that Sydney was in on, Sydney had help from the police department in Woodsboro, Sydney had help from Dewey, Gale, all these people that basically stayed, they staged their deaths and they pulled it all off, of course, with the help of some members of the production of Staff 4, since they have makeup artists on set and all these other things. Now, how would this play off on screen? No, that's the tricky part in my honest opinion you'd probably have to go about not showing the actual kills they probably have to cut away from all of the actual kills uh minus of course just having blood splatter we wouldn't actually get to see any of these people die and i think that would be the biggest clue throughout the film we didn't actually see them die we just saw like we heard screams and we saw blood getting splattered but we didn't actually see anyone die so then that's when at the end that would all make sense why we never saw anyone actually die because no one actually was dying this was all a giant ruse orchestrated by sydney and the town of woodsboro to expose jill for what she did all of those many years ago in screen four to reveal her as the real killer behind the woodsboro massacre remake as they called it in screen four and no again so basically this is the only way sydney prescott would ever be ghostface in my opinion she basically her amnesia wore off she remembered everything that happened to her remembers that her cousin is absolutely insane and she's the one responsible for these killings that occurred many years ago and she does not deserve all this fame that she desperately wanted because sydney's going to have memories of that monologue speech that jill gave her at the end of screen four and she's going to remember everything that brought her to this point she this, what happened is she then went to Dewey and they came up with this idea to get back at Jill and, of course, expose her and get the truth out there. And that, of course, led to Woodsboro PD getting involved in on it and other people. It's basically just a giant ruse that was orchestrated to expose Jill as the original killer or the actual killer from the events that occurred in Scream 4. So nobody would have actually died in this idea of mine. Sydney Prescott isn't actually a killer because she didn't kill anybody. And Jill Roberts would be exposed. And the ultimate the ultimate ghost face, because at this point, Jill Roberts would have been the ultimate ghost face because she would be the first person that got away with it. The ultimate ghost face is about to get played by the ultimate final girl, Sydney Prescott. Sydney is going to orchestrate an entire ruse to expose her cousin. She dons the ghost face mask. She dons all of the she performs all of the stereotypical tasks and tri tricks. She has partners, partners, of course, that could be, let's say they're actually Dewey and Gale. They're her partners donning the ghost face mask as well. And 
this will be the first movie where we have three Ghostface killers, but the the unfortunate result is that no one actually died. Sydney and her friends were just basically performing a a giant joke to get Jill to expose to expose Jill of what she did in Screen Four, and that's literally the only way I could see Sydney Prescott ever donning the Ghostface mask. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.